Chhattisgarh, a land known for its rich cultural heritage, contributes a staggering 12% of India's thermal power through its Gondwana coal reserves. What many don't know is that it hosts Asia's largest marine fossil park in Manindragar, known as Gondwana Marine Fossil Park. One can visit the site through rail, road and air. The nearest airport is Bilaspur Airport at 150 km. The nearest railway station is Manindragar Railway Station and the area is well connected through roads at a distance of only 300 km from the state capital of Raipur. Back in 1954, S. Ghosh, a geoscientist from the Geological Survey of India, in search of coal, discovered evidences of marine fossils in the conglomerate and black shale rocks of Talchir Formation. He also published an article about the same which put the marine beds of Gonwana rocks in Manindragar on the map of the international scientific community. This finding unveiled a time when this landlocked Manindragar town, now at the heart of India, 700 kilometers away from the coastline, was submerged beneath a cold ocean about 293 million years back. Later on, various scientists from GSI and Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleosciences Lucknow did extensive research and reported an exquisite fossil assemblage comprising of bivalve, brachiopod, bryozoa, gastropod and crinoids suggesting shallow and cold marine habitat. Based on these works of the geoscientists, on the 14th of March 2022, the State Forest Department of Chhattisgarh declared the site of Manindagar to be Chhattisgarh's first marine fossil park, which would be Asia's largest, and was inaugurated on the 21st of March 2022. During the early Permian period, around 293 million years ago, Manindragar was inhabited by bivalves, namely Aviculopectin and Eurydisma, and other families of Bryozoa, Crinoids, Brachiopods and Gastropods, who were living in the shallow and cold ocean shelves. There are several scientific theories behind the occurrence of these marine beds. The most accepted theory among the scientific community says that the land part of the Indian subcontinent was beneath a large mass of retreating glacier at its waning phase. The rising sea level at Manindragar caused flooding and resulted in sudden marine encroachment above the ridges of granitoid rocks of Chotanagpur Nysik complex, also known as CGC. The gastropods, brachiopods and bivalves were mostly thriving in the shallow ocean floor environment known as benthic habitat. The bryozoans were thriving in both shallow ocean floors and in suspension in pelagic environment. But the quick flooding due to the melting of glacier gradually brought them together in the same basin above the granitic basement. As a consequence, today we see the fossiliferous conglomerate and the black shale rocks of Talchir formation of Gondwana just above the granitoids of CGC. During later phases of Permian period, around 289 million years ago, when the sea level dropped, the retreating seawater got trapped in the pockets within CGC granitoids, leaving small interior water bodies. The organisms which normally thrive at different depths in the sea, are found in the same rock horizon in Manindragar. This tells us that the organisms were shifted from their original marine environment to a unique, mixed, complex environment. With time, increasing sedimentary influx from debris and mass flows disturbed their habitat and the population of marine organisms gradually perished. The most intriguing question of this story is whether the sea encroachment took place through the Damodar Koel Valley from the northeastern side or through the Mahanadi Valley from the southeastern side or was it through the Tapi Son Narmada Valley from the west. Regardless of the pathways of marine incursion, the fossils preserved at Manindragar and the adjoining areas are a heritage monument for the future generations. Gonwana Marine Fossil Park deserves our care and attention as it has preserved a very significant history of paleomarine habitat of Indian subcontinent and the organisms that thrived here 290 million years ago. The fossiliferous rocks of Manindagar town have been subjected to natural elements and also exposed to anthropological activities. This geoheritage needs to be preserved and the government of India along with the government of Chhattisgarh are taking right steps for the preservation of the geoheritage of the nation.